Please listen carefully. Right, today's plan is another journey, another attempt to get to Swaffham in Norfolk from Nuneaton. Last time, tried this a few months ago, uh, it was flatbed recovery time because the rapid charger, well, that's a different video, different story. Um, all the chargers seem to be working. I've just phoned the centre in Swaffham, Green Britain Centre, and they confirmed that as far as they're aware, the charger is working. It's been fine for months. So, uh, fingers crossed, we're probably going to be stopping at Peterborough. We may stop at Corby on the way just to see if that rapid charger is working. We don't need to, but may do it's on it's kind of on the way and uh yeah there'll be a stop at peterborough and then straight through to swaffham um we're gonna have a look around the center hopefully the weather's gonna hold out looks all right at the moment here but swaffham's quite a distance away so we'll see right we just pulled over in corby i'm just going to try a quick charge here see if the machine is working based on past experience it won't be but uh, we'll take a look and see Right, pulled over at the Corby Cube. We don't need to stop here, but I'm gonna give give the rapid charger here a go. It hasn't worked for me before, but I'm gonna try with the charger card, charger car card again, which failed in Evesham, the, uh, sorry, Morton and Marsh the other week. It worked in Evesham, but I'm gonna try it here. Let's see how we get on. Probably can't see that screen. It's just my sunglasses. The sun's in the way a bit. Okay, right. Let's try the card there. That's reading the card, is it identification? No. Dear customer, unfortunately your ID card has not been accepted. Please try again. Blah blah blah. Right, I'm gonna phone them. Right, so I called Charge Your Car and um, they think it's down to the machine. So that's about the fourth time I've tried charging at this machine unsuccessfully. Good old charger car again. They're not, it's not great. I, the only one I've successfully charged that with charger car is that Evesham Country Park. Uh, I think, I think I might say that. Apart from a fast charger, one of the pole ones, which are not fast at all. So the rapids seem very unreliable. I think compared to ecotricity, it's, it's slightly worrying. I wouldn't rely, I personally wouldn't rely on charger car. Uh, this is, like I say, it's probably the fourth time I've stopped here and it's never worked over months and months and months. And they're saying it's down to the machine. So make of that what you will. Right, pulled into Peterborough Services, rapid charge here, no problem with Ecotricity rapid charger here. So uh, we've got 40% at the moment, 41 just gone. I think we think about 35 when we pulled up. So we're going to charge up here, probably quite well beyond 80%. I'm just going to find out where we're going actually. Hmm, that's a good point. Let's find out where we're going exactly in Swaffham area. The route we're taking is from here, Peterborough, to Swaffham. So just put that in. And we've got route info. I've put it eco mode. I've done this, done this route before. Um, reckons 53 miles. And it's quite a nice uh, countryfied route. So we're on 51% at the moment. I'm going to let that charge up. Uh, well, we've been going and probably go get a drink or something. So I'm just going to let that charge up as long as it wants, really. Right, we are done at Peterborough. So we're going to head over to Swaffham now. It's 12.36. Not sure how long it'll take to get there. It's quite a country fine wiggly route we're going, so might be a while. We've arrived at Swaffham, 2.25, with no battery. 14% uh, battery left, 12 miles left. Big, it was big diversion on the way, which kind of threw us out. But uh, yeah, got around that okay. We'll fly. Um, so we're going to go and have a look at the Green Britain Centre now and hopefully got this here big propellery thing, wind turbine. 
Yeah, that's good news. That's working fine and the car's charging. That's a relief, because if that wasn't working, you're a bit stuffed in Norfolk. In we go. Very nice. And then there's this car over there. There's a film theatre in here. place. Fastest wind-powered vehicle on the planet. 126.2 miles per hour. Cool. It's a land yacht. <sighs> you had thing. This, which has the look of a lotus. And it's fully electric. I think it's fastest electric car, 151 miles per hour. Mm. And it's the E motion. Which I don't, I don't I think I just read doesn't have the world electric speed record, but that's what it's built to do. It did achieve nearly 200 miles per hour on the run. Round and round. Ooh. On all sorts of different slides. Birds, as you shall have learned a bit closer, and once we get in place. Wow. That was the Green Britain Centre. It's a very nice place to visit. Um, and we, they very kindly put on an extra, there's three scheduled tours here. The, you can walk up the turbine. It's the only turbine in the world where visitors can walk up. Uh, apparently there's one in Canada which visitors can go up, but it's using a lift. So it's the only one in the world where you can go up using a spiral staircase. Um, and yes, there's three tours, one at 11, one at one o'clock and one at three o'clock. And ordinarily there you should book ideally because they're very popular and yes assuming that is the case we got here and the one at three o'clock was fully booked so initially we thought we wouldn't get a tour on the uh, we wouldn't be able to go up at all but uh, yeah they're very nice people here they actually um, sorted sorted out so that uh, we did get a tour on our own a private tour up there which is very good lots of steps lots of steps but lovely views at the top you can see uh, yeah we well see quite a long way on a clear day today is a bit overcast now but lovely so we charged up to 90% and 92% uh, I think I'm just gonna take a look <laughs> see how we're doing it all join on 93 according to this so we're gonna go we're gonna go to menu destination we could do history 
Peter Bear, that'll do. Yeah, let's have a look what opportunities there are in terms of routes because there was a diversion on the way here. Um, so, more routes. Fastest is 53 miles, which might be sensible. There's not a much of a saving either way, so. Fastest, that's going that way. Okay, I think we're going to go with the fastest way. Yes, let's do that. Fastest way to Peterborough. Quick! Back at Peterborough. It's, uh, yeah, 10 to 6. And we come back, we got here 31%. Pretty good. Um, we're currently sat next to a... One of those things. Let's go out and have a look, actually. I can do that without breaking it. That would be nice. One of those beauties. We're going to wait for that to finish. Lovely. So, leg done. This will be the last stop. We're going to stop and eat something here before we head back. Um, pretty successful day. Well, we're back. Um, 826, 21% battery left. I turned the eco mode off towards the end of the trip. <clears throat> Just thought I'd enjoy enjoy the driving. Um, and yeah, we got plenty left, 21%. That was uh, been a good day. We, um, yeah, a bit of a change from last time where we ended up on the flatbed, which as I said, is on the other is on another video. Um, what else can I say really? Really nice drive back. Lovely sky on some of it. It was a uh, beautiful bit of uh, uh, red cloud with the you know, sunset behind it. Very, very pleasant. Um, coming to, through some bits of the route. Some, yeah, some really, some really nice places to go through from Peterborough back home. Um, avoiding the main roads. But yeah, overall, really good trip. Enjoyed the day out. Been a long day. But uh, it's been good, and we've had a trip all the way over to Swaffham in Norfolk and back again for zero travel costs. Only costs have been food and drink. Uh, kids have enjoyed it, wifey's enjoyed it, I've enjoyed it. Success!